I'd like to welcome the ACS members to the American College of Surgeons Pathways to Fellowship Series. I'm Lindsay Kilgore, a breast surgical oncologist at the University of Kansas Cancer Center and an associate fellow member of the American College of Surgeons. The interview today, the committee was, has developed this new fellowship pathway series to spotlight surgeon leaders who have championed the pathway to fellowship for young surgeons. The goal of the interview is to help promote the value of fellowship within the American College of Surgeons and among its members, especially those in subspecialty fields. This interview will be published in the resident and associate fellow newsletter and will be made available as a podcast accessible from the ACS website. Joining me in conducting the interview today is medical student member Haley Nadone. Haley, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Haley and I'm a rising second year at the University of Nevada, Reno. Well, Dr. Green, we'd like to begin the interview. So if you wouldn't mind, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself, including where you work and your current role and how you've gotten involved in the American College of Surgeons? Definitely. So I'm Kirsten Green. I'm the chair of urology at the University of Virginia. Um, I'm a urologic oncologist and I specialize in minimally invasive surgery, so a lot of robotic surgery. And I got involved as a resident. Um, my residency director, Jack Mackinich, was heavily involved in the American College of Surgeons and I think was the vice president of the American College of Surgeons. And he was just a tremendous advocate for all the residents getting involved, getting involved early, um, and then really mentored all of us as faculty as well to keep up our involvement and become fellows. And he would always come to the ceremony um, when we actually became fellows and would watch us walk. And it was just, it was really exciting and it almost felt like another part of your journey through residency into graduation. So it was something very special. Um, it was expected and encouraged and celebrated. So that's how I got involved. Great. And Dr. Chohan, can you please introduce yourself for us? Sure, I'm Jyoti Chohan, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Urology at Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. And I joined the ACS as a resident as well in 2016 when I submitted an abstract to the urology section and really was blown away by the quality of people attending the conference and how thoughtful their comments were about, you know, what I really considered sort of sometimes resident-led projects, very thoughtful, insightful, and, and just gave me such a positive experience, not only about doing research, but the people that attended this meeting and wanted to be a part of this organization. So- what does the ACS fellowship mean to each of you um, and also specifically to your institution? I think in terms of what does it mean to me, it's a way to make connections, which is important. It's a way to be part of a greater sense of surgery, of the collegial nature of surgery. Um, urology is small, you know, it's a, it's a small subspecialty. And this is a terrific way to just meet other surgeons in our field to learn from them. Um, we don't always have to reinvent the wheel. As a woman in urology, you know, there's not as many women in urology. There are more women surgeons in the American College of Surgeons. So it's a way to be part of that greater kind of community of, of female surgeons. Just going into my third year of practice. And so for me, it's really transitioning from the support and sort of early understanding of what ACS was as a resident and fellow to how can this help me grow my career um, in the next phase, understanding the reach of advocacy and education and mentorship for, you know, a diverse array of specialties, um, gender, other DEI priorities. It really has made me feel like this is such an important organization for so many surgeons. So how has affiliation with ACS helped your career path and as your career as a specialist? I think for me, it's really helped because it's a way to meet new people. And it's a certain part in your career. You know, you might, maybe you move to a new place or you finish your residency and you've met all your mentors and your sponsors in residency. And then you go to your fellowship if it's somewhere different and you meet a group of new people who are your advocates, you know, people putting your name forward for a committee um, involving you on a paper. It's a way to meet important people, you know, I met a ton of chairs as a resident, I never would have gotten the opportunity to speak with them at the AUA. But at the ACS, it's a much more intimate group of people who are giving you direct feedback on your abstract or resident-led research. So it's a great way to meet new sponsors, new advocates, make new friends, make new connections, and get feedback outside of your own institution about your project. 
for me. Being so early in my career, it's been a tremendous way for me to understand different avenues that I can take as I further my career. So, you know, the efforts we've made in education and advocacy and career development have given me a lot of food for thought as to how I want to be as a leader, as a member of a larger, you know, surgical organization, and also just how I want to, to lead my life within my institution. And being with other surgeons who are excited just to be a part of a community. So I think I can still apply general themes to my subspecialty that I would never have gotten if I just would have stayed um, urology focused. What would you tell your 20 year old self at the beginning of your career about fellowship in ACS? take on the opportunities that are afforded at each level within the ACS. And I think they do a good job of trying to create unique opportunities that continue to help, you know, not only advance your career, but allow you to give back, um, you know, to the greater field. I definitely agree. I think that the college has, you know, great contributions for everyone, whatever level you're at, whether it's the medical student, resident, and then actually when you become a fellow in the college. So thanks for pointing that out. What are three takeaways for our surgeon colleagues on how they can address their career path and membership in the American College of Surgeons? Think outside of just your own specialty. And by that, I mean, think about ACS, you know, if you're urology or you're any other subspecialty, think about the broader group of surgeons as a whole, because we are a community and we face the same problems, you know, being a urologic surgeon or a breast surgeon or a different type of surgeon, we run into the same problems with our career, with burnout, with satisfaction, uh, with research, with funding, with all these things. So it is great to be part of a group. So that is why I think it is important to be in the ACS because you find commonalities. And then the last thing is just always be looking for opportunities to make new connections, to meet new people. So my first one is to uh, reflect regularly on the positives and negatives of your career as it sort of evolves. But the second one is find your community within ACS to not only grow as a surgeon, but give back to, you know, the greater field as well. And then the third one is uh, find mentors for different aspects of your career and personal life, and then continue to check in with them regularly. Well, thank you both so much for giving your time to us today. I know our members are really going to appreciate this podcast when we put it up. So thank you again. And we look forward to seeing you at the American College of Surgeons in person someday. Thank you. Thank you very much.